Docker is a pretty amazing containerization system for people who are new to Linux and servers in general. It makes running apps on your server amazingly simple. However, not every single app we want to run may come with a pre-built, already packaged Docker Compose file. In some cases, we have to run what's called a Docker build command in order to actually build the Docker file on our system locally. This is not hard to do. It requires just one or two extra steps. Today, I'm going to show you how to actually use a Docker Compose file that relies on Docker builds to build an application locally on your system and deploy it with only a few extra steps. Let's get started. The application I want to focus on today is called Sprout Track. Sprout Track is an application for tracking baby activities, milestones, and development. It's a really cool application and I like it a lot. The challenge is when you come up here to their Docker Compose file, you will see that it has this line here. It says build context with this period. Docker file references Docker file. Anytime you see this block of text in a compose.yaml, you know that this is going to require a Docker build file. I can't just run this Docker Compose as is. It will simply not run. However, there's a really easy way to get this running using Dockage on TrueNAS with just one or two commands. Let's go ahead and follow the instructions here for how to deploy this on our TrueNAS system. Step one says run the following command in the stacks directory of your TrueNAS shell. Jumping over to TrueNAS, I'm gonna come over here to my system and then go to shell, make this bigger, and I'm gonna type in sudo su to make sure I'm running as root. I'll know I'm root when this dollar sign goes to a hashtag. Now I can go ahead and cd, change directory, into my mount tank stacks directory. To make sure I'm there, I'm just gonna do a quick ls-l, and I can see all of my stacks are here. So let's go back over to the wiki, and go ahead and grab this command, copy it, come back to my shell, and I'm gonna hold down shift and hit insert to paste it and hit enter. And we can see here, it's done a bunch of things to basically copy this into my stacks directory. If you wanna see what was copied, I can go ahead and hit ls-l again. And we can see here, I now have a folder called sprout track. Let's jump over to Dockage. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh this whole page. Now down here, I see Sprout Track listed as inactive. And here is my Docker Compose.yaml. All I have to do at this point is edit this to be what I want it to be and then go ahead and run it. So let's go ahead and edit this right here. I'm going to change this port here because I don't want it running on 3000, 3005. Now I'm going to want to change my volume as well. Everything else here looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it and deploy this container. My container is now deployed. It took a while to do this Docker build took about three or four minutes. You're going to see some very different things up here in the output window. And then in the terminal, you're also going to see things that you're probably not used to seeing. That's not a problem. It's what it's supposed to be doing. And it did come up and is running healthy. So just know that this did work, but it takes much longer than doing a regular Docker Compose launch because the Docker Compose file is already prepackaged and put together, while a Docker build is literally using your local resources to put stuff together and construct this application on the fly. This has just been a quick overview on how to run Docker build command. Sometimes this can get more complicated, and if it does, I'm going to include that in the wiki. You might see a larger block of commands here, and if you do, just copy the whole block and run it as one single file. If you have any questions about this, go ahead and leave a comment below on this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel. If you have very technical questions, go ahead and jump on the Service at Home Discord, and if you want to thank me personally, please use the link below to buy me a coffee.